All right, we have a little bit of bonus coverage for you. This is the house that Jenny Wade was born in. Today it is a museum of haunted objects. So there's a little plaque over here telling you. On the side, on the front here. Jenny Wade, birthplace. house that she was killed in is right down there on the left a little ways. And the house that she lived in after here is down there to the right. Today we are in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Yeah, in front of the Jenny Wade house. Yep, Jenny Wade is right here between us and we're gonna kind of tell you a little bit of history about her and then we're gonna head to the cemetery and show you her final resting place. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. This is the last house Jenny Wade lived in and this is the house she left that morning to head to her sister's. Came out that door, I'm assuming walk down this street and turn right and headed for her sisters okay we're standing in front of the Jenny Wade house now and we're going to tell you a brief history about Jenny Wade now there's a plaque here that you can read and it tells us that on the morning of July 1st Jenny Wade and her family fled from their town home to this brick double house that was owned by her sister, Georgia. Yep, so Jenny and her family came up this street, because their house is on down there a few blocks, and came to Georgia's house. Yeah, they came here to distance themselves from the fighting, but soon the Union retreated to Cemetery Hill, placing Jenny and her family in direct path of danger. Right over there is Cemetery Hill. So on early in the morning, civilian fatality. Jenny was killed instantly by a random Confederate bullet while preparing biscuit dough in the kitchen. Yeah, now where that bullet came from, it's kind of a controversy. Really nobody knows for sure, but a lot of people think that it came down there on the left side, and we'll go down there later and show you, from the Farnsworth house. So, like Bobby said, this is a double house, and you can kind of see right there, it's like split and kind of it's dead center. Two houses in there. Let's go check this house out. Now, there's supposedly 150 bullet holes in this house. And we're going to go find the one bullet hole that took Jenny's life. Let's see if we can see some of those bullet holes. Right there. Look at that. Wow, right under that window. Now, what do you think Jenny and her family thought when they looked out that window? This was going on. I would say those were probably shut. They probably were, but I bet you they did take a peek. There's some more bullet holes. All over the place. And there is the door headed in. Right behind there is the kitchen. You can see a bunch of holes in that. And the bullet came through there, came through hit the Jenny in the left shoulder, and struck her heart. She died instantly. Right there. That's the hole that did it. And it's sad to think that had she stayed in her own home, she would have been safe. Sad story. More holes over there. Now the soldiers heard her mother screaming and ran down the stairs. This so after the Union soldiers came downstairs, picked Jenny up, they carried her upstairs because a cannonball had come through the roof 
and it went through the other part of the building, which left an opening in there that they kind of tore down between the two buildings and brought her out this door over here. Now, like I said earlier, you can kind of see that this was too, it's kind of split right here. So when it came through, they carried her out on this side, but while we're walking by, let's just check out Jenny. There she is. Taking her bread. That's a really detailed statue. So as the soldiers made their way through the house to get into this section, they carried her down the steps and brought her on this side and carried her right through that door right there. Once they carried her out that door, they put her down in the cellar. And the cellar door is open. This is where they took her body and laid it down. And kept her there for a few days. Right down through there, guys. Off to the left. We're standing in front of the Farnsworth house. Now that window you see on the left side of the building, clear to top, right up there, that little window, that's rumored to be where the shot came that killed Jenny Wade. Here is the kitchen Jenny was baking bread in. Now that table off to the right is the original, and that's where she was standing when she was struck by the bullet that also came through this door. So it came through the front door and this door and hit her. And she collapsed onto the floor after hitting that table. Now right off to the side here is the living room which they moved the bed in. There's a picture of Jenny and a clock up inside that room. Here is the upstairs of the Wade house, which is another bedroom. Now here in a second, you're gonna see where the cannonball came through the ceiling and ripped into the other section of the house, which is occupied by another person right there. So the soldiers tore all that down and carried Jenny's body through that wall so they could take her out the other side. And these are just uh, photos of the other part of the house. Here are the stairs that the soldiers carried Jenny's body down through to take her to the kitchen and outside. But when they replaced the floorboards in this house, they kept the original floorboard that Jenny Wade fell on that is bloodstained. There's a sign there telling you about it, but it's right here. I mean, there's the floorboard, and if you look to the left, that's Jenny's blood. Now, they kept that. I don't know why someone saved it, but they did. Here is the artillery shell that came through the house. It's caused that hole that the soldiers took her through. There's the door that came out, the cellar that they went down to and laid her body down. Now today they have a mannequin there, and right there it is. That's supposed to be like Jenny Wade in the corner. Picture of the whole cellar, and you see the benches because they have ghost tours down there also. I have this painting for everybody to see what it looked like back then, and there's Jenny Wade. This is the German Reformed Church. Now this is where Jenny Wade's body was taken after it was dug up from her front yard and it was moved into the cemetery that was right next to this place. So it was either right where this house is, directly across the street. I've heard two different stories, but if you really want to research Jenny Wade, let me know. Put it in the comments so I know exactly where it was. But two different people have said different things about it. One person has told us it's right here where this house is and someone else has told us it was across the street but it was right here somewhere now, I'm wondering if it was right here because if you walk up here and look this looks like an old cemetery plot at one time could be wrong but that's kind of what it looks like I'm not sure standing in front of Evergreen Cemetery now, we just came from the house, which is right down there. And this is Cemetery Hill, where a lot of fighting took place. So we're going to get ready and head in there. And we're going to show you 
where Jenny is buried. Eighteen sixty-three. And the battle took place, so let's head in. So when you come in, you want to come up this path where this vehicle's coming out of. We're gonna head up there and show you Jenny Wade's grave. Okay, Jenny Wade. Mary Virginia Wade. But they called her Jenny. Now she was 20 years old, killed July 3rd, 1863, while making bread for the Union soldiers. Now if you look at this grave, you have the monument, but you also have a flag. So she is the only woman besides Betsy Ross that has a flag flying by her grave. That's pretty distinct. Right there. So her body was moved like three or four times before she ended up being here. Wow. There's her, looks like there's her mom and dad. Right there. What's we got on this side? What's this say? With a courage born of loyalty, she hath done what she could. Let's go around back, see if there's anything on the back. Oh, erected by the Women's Relief Corps of Iowa. AD 1901. peaceful up here okay so if you want to visit Jenny hopefully our directions a quick history you know a little more about her when I come to this cemetery so we hope you enjoyed this little bit of history about Jenny Wade she was the only civilian killed during the Gettysburg War and it's just sad that she was just trying to be helpful to the soldiers and then she ended up getting killed herself so if you find yourself here in Evergreen Cemetery while you're here at Gettysburg, make sure to swing by and pay your respects to Jenny. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the, the building. building.